This is a short tutorial on how to modify a STL file or a mesh file um, and add an SVG to it, like a logo, um, and boss that in uh, on the Mac for a bamboo printer. So I'm going to be taking this design, which I made, and I'm going to be adding this logo to it, uh, embossing that in. And I found that this is more difficult on the Mac and for bamboo printers than you might think. You can use the same technique to modify other files that you might find online, like at printables. You just want to make sure that you have the license for it. This is my file, so I could do this anyway. But if someone else were to do this, they'd want to check that the license allow it. And this one does allow for remix as long as you don't make money off of it and you share giving credit. So I've downloaded that SDL file and I am going, I cannot, I found I could not do this in Fusion 360 easily or in the Bamboo Slicer. So I'm going to have to open a Prusa Slicer. And I will load in my SDL file into the Bamboo Slicer or into a Prusa Slicer. And I will orbit around to get to the side here. And if I right click on the SDL or to add part, you will see there's the SVG as an option. And I am going to load in that logo as an SVG. And in Prusa Slicer, when I do this, I get this uh, menu off to the side and I can use these to configure it and get it the way I want. So I'm gonna bring this much smaller. I already know that my depth is gonna be uh, about uh, two millimeters in. I want to set this up as a cut and I'm going to move it into place a little bit, resize it down a little further and just get it the way we want it to look. Maybe a little smaller here. And I'm going to say use surface. This is going to make the emboss uh, two millimeters in and make that consistent across it rather than um, coming in from just one plane, which would mean that my actual boss would be to varying uh, depths. So I'm going to check use surface. And now if I hit slice now, I get a preview of what this is going to look like, which is exactly how I want. This would be great if I had a Prusa slice printer and I was going to send it off to, to print on my Prusa, but I'm going to be printing this on a bamboo. And I found that you can't export this as an SDL file here. You'll get an error, but what you can do is go to file, save project as, and save this project as a 3MF file. I'm going to save that. If you get this pop up, you can just say yes to it. And now I'm done with Prusa Slicer, but I'm going to open up my Bamboo app, Bamboo Studio. And if I open project, I can now open up that, uh, that 3MF file that I saved. And you'll see in the bamboo, it gives me the preview. And if I slice it, my file looks the way I want. Right now, you can't do this directly in the bamboo uh, studio. Hopefully, they bring that feature over. But for now, here's how you can customize SDL files that you find and add your logo. You could even you know, create text as an SVG, do whatever you like, and, uh, and modify that way. Hope you found this helpful.